Kalinga loves music more than anything, especially her drums. For 15 years, the 22-year-old has been practicing whenever she can and playing wherever she goes. When I play, it's like climbing up somewhere high. But in the end, I find myself still on the ground. The percussionist lives in Kinshasa, the capital of the Democratic Republic of the Congo. In Congo, drumming is a predominantly male pursuit, so Tolinga had to learn everything on her own, mostly by watching other musicians play. There was always conflict within her family. For this reason, she left the family home at the age of 19. But at first, it was really difficult. It was not easy to get my family to accept what I'm doing here. But acceptance has come, from her family as well as from the men in the local drumming scene. Normally I play with men. Huguet is different from other women. She's just great. For me, it's amazing. Not strange, but amazing. She's an extraordinary girl. André Yoka is a music professor at the National Institute of Arts. He sums up the prejudice Tolinga faces. Many believe women should not touch the drum, a sacred object in Congolese society. La femme est fétiche. The woman is a fetish. When you go to war, do not touch women. When you go fishing, do not touch women. When you go hunting, you must not touch women. If you touch women, you lose. And so the woman is also an object of taboo, and two objects of taboo cannot be together. But Tolinga does not want to give up her dream. She encourages other women to join her, regularly meeting to play music spontaneously. Young people from the area watch her with interest. Tolinga is now well known in Kinshasa, but she still has problems. The 22-year-old is still looking for a producer to support her, so far without success. But she is determined. One day, I'm going to open up a cultural center to train other artists. Tolinga is already a role model for many girls. Now she wants to get to the top and become a big star in Congo.